We are now um, in front of the, we are at the, the monastery of St. Theodosios, the Cenobiarch, who was a, a monk who came here in the 5th century and founded this monastery. It is a beautiful monastery. Uh, as you can see here, this is, this is the, the kind of a courtyard area can see and this is the beautiful church that exists as we just showed in the previous video we spoke about St. Theodosius you can see but here in the courtyard we see that there is the cave of the three magi now this is something interesting the three magi are the people who came to give Jesus the three gifts of gold myrrh and frankincense in in the in the Bible and they passed by this way and stopped in this cave which we will go downstairs right now and you will see uh, where they stayed before they went to Bethlehem and found Jesus as they were following the star so this is um, the cave down here and we are descending now down into the cave might be a little bit dark but come by we have Fotini here Hi, Fotini. Are you enjoying the I'm Cave enjoying, of the Magi? I'm enjoying every moment. Wonderful. It's an amazing experience. I'm glad. And into the cave we go. And as you can see here, this is the chapel is built right into the cave where the Magi stayed. And you can see there is also a small chapel here. And there is also the tomb of St. Theodosios, the Synobiarch which is here, and it's turned into an altar table. And as we continue down, we see that the ceiling is part of the actual rock, and the chapel is built right into the cave of the Magi. And as we go into the inner cave, we see that slowly we enter into the cave, the inner cave of the Magi. And we can see here where they stayed. And this is very much like the cave of where Jesus was born in Bethlehem, which we will be visiting later on today. More from uh, Bethlehem when we visit there later this morning.